Ok, monsieur le secrétaire général. Secretary General, thank you for having joined us. The director of Kohli ACP. I also recognize Mr. Meridon the, from the European Union and, of course, the Kohli ACP team, which has been working with us for the last 15 years in providing support to the fruit and vegetable sector in ACP countries. But I think we've gone beyond fruits and vegetables at times. We've also supported coffee and cocoa in previous programs. And we were able to build capacity amongst competent authorities in our countries. Since 2011, when we tried to deal with the problems related to the development in standards with the Europeans, we have been working with the Kole OCP. And I think the director himself will say this is an association bringing together fruit and vegetables importers importers from ACP countries and exporters from the ACP to Europe. And they have been providing support to our country, countries for the last 15 years with uh, essential funding provided by the European Union. I think overall about 100 million euros has been spent to um, provide this support. So we would like to express our gratitude uh, to the Euro our European friends. However, we must acknowledge that the task still at hand is huge. We need to support small-scale uh, producers. How can we ensure that this huge mass of people who are the biggest part of our economies are not left out as things develop around the world in Europe and elsewhere. Because when we improve quality of products in our countries, they not only go to Europe, but they go to other countries. Under the 11th EDF, we have launched a new program, Fit for Market. That's what it's called, which indicates uh, the objective of the program And this will once again help us to improve quality for our producers in, when it comes to exports to the EU, but specifically in the area of fruits and vegetables. We will be hearing pe people expressing their experience, telling us of their experiences. And I hope that you will take the opportunity to ask questions, ask the director questions as to what about what he's doing. So without further ado, let me give you the floor so that you, Secretary General, you can welcome your guests to your house. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Assistant Secretary General, Excellencies, Mr. President, Representative of the Commission, our great director, Guy, all the persons who have been associated with Kohl ACP, and all of our dear guests and friends, happy that you are here with us, and welcome home. We always like to say, for the ACP family, this is your home, and you have come in such large numbers, and we are proud that we are here today for the launching of this great event. As mentioned many times, it is not so much the amount that we receive in the EDF, in programs or in grants, but is how what is provided is used 
to serve the people and the families of the ACP. We are of course very much appreciative of how in this unique organization and this unique treaty that the world admires and is envious of, a treaty that links the 79 member states of the African, Caribbean and Pacific, three continents, with one continent of Europe in the 28 member states for the European Development Fund, which we jointly manage and plan. That is only one aspect. The greater aspect is your presence and your appreciation and the results of the programs and projects. ACP has always been very proud of coal ACP. It has done remarkable things, not only because of the sector, essential for life of food, the vegetables, cocoa, all aspects, but also because by that action, we feel that some things tangible are taking place in the lives of the people of the African, Caribbean, and Pacific group. And that is why we are very heartened in the Secretariat when we can be of service to you. I am therefore more than proud and happy on behalf of the Secretariat, the great work, and also the former Assistant Secretary Generals like Assistant Ashil Basiliken, who were part of the foundation and helped to see the project grow and mature, to our ambassadors who chair the various subcommittees to make it possible for us to reach this far. Therefore, this launching a fit for market means it will help us to be even more fit to serve you and all the people of the ACP. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Nous allons maintenant. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Meritant, who is re replacing Mr. Alcan, can uh, share a few words uh, with us from the Commission's point of view. Thank you, Mr. Viwanu. Yes, Jean-Pierre Alcan cannot be here. He's asked me to replace him. It's a great honor for me, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Ambassadors, representatives of the various ASP governments. This is really a, a great event for us here to inaugurate the new phase of the Kole ACP program. Already 15 years of partnership. I remember 15 years ago I was working in Madagascar. It was the beginning of Kole ACP, lychee, lychees being exported, public-private partnership. We didn't call it that at the time, and we didn't know exactly where this would go. And I think today we're all very proud to have been able to have this over the last uh, 15 years and to be able to continue. I think it's a really wonderful success story of ACP-EU cooperation and greatly illustrates the ACP-EU partnership and also illustrates what a good partnership should be between the public, the ACP and the EU, and the private sector, that is, these companies that we are now supporting that export. And I think it's easy to see the figures, more than 500 companies, more than 500 million in terms of trade, China, in, uh, euro in terms of trade between the ACP and the EU. And I think this is remarkable. So you are saying this is a new phase. It's a new phase that is being launched. And we hope that this phase will show even more so the de developmental impact we'd like to see on smallholders, on small producers. Uh, as Mr. Viwanu said, this is such an important aspect on the EU, EU Commission side. We increasingly want to work on agricultural value chains and Kohli ACP was actually a precursor in this area. And thanks to this program, we've been working with agricultural value chains. And we'd like to develop this even more so. Of course, Kohli ACP has 
put in place a huge uh, database for future action, to guide future action. So I won't speak for too long. I do wish you all success. And we'll all be standing together, standing together with the ACP governments, um, farmers in ACP countries, and all these businesses that are expecting your support to be able to export to Europe. So bravo once again, and good luck. Thank you. Now let's give the floor to the directors, Mr. Stephen Minter. Thank you, Your Excellency, the Secretary General. Thank you for the rep from the European Commission. Thank you for receiving us, Your Excellencies. First of all, this program makes Kulisi very proud for two main reasons. The first reason is that it proves the continuous confidence that the European Commission and then the ACP have in Kulisi. That is a good plus for us. Secondly, it also gives the Kulisi an opportunity to prove its worth one more time. And I do promise that we will continue to see excellence in whatever we do, especially with this Fit for Market program. We thank you very much for your support. Let me take this opportunity to thank our development partners, that is the ACP and the European Union, for your continued support for our efforts over the years. 15 years is a lot of period of good work and your continual support for us means you also appreciate the results that we have been churning out over all these years. I will also want to, as a president of the group, want to appreciate the effort of the staff of Kule CP. At which point, even when we were negotiating with the commencement of the fit for market, they had to stay put for six months not know exactly what will happen, but they had the patience for us and waited for us to have access to their expertise and experience. I want to appreciate their efforts here. And I'm even more excited about this team because of some values that they are bringing on board into this new program, which I'll quickly go through commitment, empowerment, respect for diversity, high performance, and focusing on the human factor. I guess my DG will give some detail to some of these values, but they are very commendable indeed, and I do my heart for the staff. Personally, there is something that I want to inform this August garden about. Uh, I represent a group of pineapple producers and, ex and exporters in Ghana. And in the early 2000s, when we had joined Kuli CP, we faced Herculean tax in assessing the UU market because of maximum red residue problems, post harvest management practices, and others. And I'm happy to say that by contacting Kuli CP, we have been able to turn the skills around, and our exports within 10 years increased by 400% fold. All this with support from the Kule CP. And since then, we have never had any challenge in assessing the EU market and other markets globally. And I think I have to appreciate what the Kule CP has done for us. And I believe in the other countries that Kule CP has performed, we have similar stories to tell. Thank you very much for your support for Kule CP and for all of us who have benefited directly from your financial support. ACP Agriculture is trying to find a way to reinvent itself to face up the challenge of hunger and poverty and feed the world in no distant future. And the ACP, as we all agree, has major assets to take up this challenge. We have a lot of arable land, we have significant margins for improvement, and more importantly, ingenious and 
courageous human resource. And when we come to Europe, it is also reinventing its agriculture to make it more human and nature friendly. And this is where the role of CoLACP is crucial. CoLACP is in the front row of all these changes. Our traditional members, that is the ACP exporters and the European importers, are combining with the small producers and the organizations to supply rapidly changing international, national, and regional markets. CoLACP has conceived this fit for market program to support them better even in their efforts. We have put together the new program focusing on competitiveness and sustainability. The objective mainly is competitiveness. That is making sure technical skills, skills acquired by the businesses serve to improve the economic performance and beyond that help to release the agri-food potential in developing countries. The Kulia CP support will therefore include the following in the new program that we are launching today. Compliance to market requirements, improvement of sustainability and competitiveness, market analysis, and the marketing and management capacity at company level. Indeed, this is aimed to solve the age-old problem of lack of access to credit. We will help to improve their bankability to have access to the needed credit for expansion of their projects. The sustainability charter has also been prepared, uh, prepared and will be introduced through a defined training program for the benefit of our beneficiaries. CoLACP has used its experience to consider both the needs of its beneficiaries and guidelines of its lending institutions, mainly the European Development Fund. We want to take this opportunity one more time to thank all our collaborators of this laudable Fit for Market program. I hereby promise that we will see excellent results this time around one more time. Thank you very much for your attention. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Nous allons maintenant. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman. I think we'll have uh, another uh, two views, one from the importers, one for the exporters. I think first it's CPF that will take the floor first. Mr. Thomas will give us the views on the challenges and opportunities in the sector. You have the floor, sir. Uh, merci, Excellence. Uh, Mesdames, Messieurs. Thank you. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this opportunity to take the floor this afternoon. In, in this uh, August and so such a large assembly, so many people, the ACP, ACP Secretariat, really thank you to everyone. Let me explain just very briefly my experience as an uh, importer uh, integrated in the area of uh, production. So I started my professional career in West Africa uh, 30 years ago in production. And uh, I think my story with CoLACP started about 15 years ago. And so I have uh, followed all the programs For at least two decades, there have been huge developments, mainly those that have been imposed upon us by the market. And as an importer, and also as a consumer, we're all consumers, I think huge strides have been made forward with regards to food security. And I think this has been imposed upon us by consumers here in Europe, and I must say that the food security that has been imposed by consumers, who were the main outlets for the products that we produce in Africa and that we export to the European Union, and then the importers, we then um, send on to other parts of the world. Uh, I think this has been imposed upon us, and we have uh, maximum limits, limits of residue, traceability. Now, this has not only served or met the needs of European uh, 
consumers, but also Africans and uh, people around the world. And I think this has been a huge ex experiment that was supported by donors who really supported us and helped us, and then governments that has lent us assistance and organizations public organizations. The chairman spoke about the Export Association in Ghana, producer associations in each of the countries with their various export objectives. And I think a few years ago, we were all wondering what would be the sustainability for producers in Africa. Today, Africa has a very clear place in trade with Europe and international trade. And why is this? It's because we have respected and complied with standards with regards to production and import. So these challenges were thrown upon us about uh, the last 15 years. And I think we can welcome the initial uh, results which, of course, we've been able to do thanks to the donors and also African countries that have supported us through Kole Asipe. Our initial objectives, PIP, PIP2, EDES program, and these are, we already have seen the results here, and mainly in the area of food security. I think that today we're at the dawn of new challenges. These Uh, challenges for the short, medium, and long term. Primarily social protection, I think, today. We need to have our objectives uh, with regards to production and importation. We need to feel be more responsible with regards to consumers, to people producing in Africa here. There's a huge ethical responsibility for all companies and with regards to the environment, which has become increasingly important when it comes to our production tools and our import and marketing systems. Thank you. So these are new goals that have been set for us. I think a program like that the, with a program uh, fit for market that Cole ACP is launching, we would uh, be able to launch these new objectives. We are aware that the ACP includes uh, an active uh, membership in the board who have much experience with small producers as well as exporters, with systems or structures for export through professional organizations on one hand, and the group of seven representing producers as well as the seven representing exporters, of which I am a member. And with this common uh, experience, we try to be as pragmatic as possible in trying to attain the objectives we have set to see social, environmental, and ethical development of our uh, our businesses and uh, this uh, in relation to the food and vegetable sector in Africa and other regions in particular. I think this is what I can see on objectives. Thank you to all. No, merci beaucoup, uh, Monsieur Hildenbrand, and the. Thank you. Before we go into presentation of the program, we will now be hearing the views and needs of exporters. So we will be hearing from uh, the Director General um, of an organization in Mali, Mr. Fofana. He will be sharing information with you. Thank you for coming. I am also grateful to call ACP for giving me this opportunity. As you know, I am a mango exporter from Mali. I work with uh, more than 1,000 producers and 200 certified producers. I joined the Cole ACP 20 years ago, 15 years 
of which I have been closely involved with Call ACP. And after uh, a, a crisis a point that I reached when I first thought that exporting would be easy, I then realized that here we were dealing with a market. And I actually lost it all at one point in uh, having had a turnover of 600,000 at one point. I realized there was an issue in terms of training, lack of knowledge about the market, and so on. I did sign a, an agreement with Cole ACP through the PIP and was involved in management of the project and PIP 1 and PIP 2. And with that memorandum of understanding, I moved from uh, a total of 300,000 tons, 300 tons rather, to 2,000 tons now, which is to say, with the support of Cole ACP and support of others, I have been able to develop and to ensure I could in turn assist many others, give others chances so that we could move f with um, from 40,000 tons dealing with about 20 million CFA francs. So when you have a situation where producers can, uh, can earn, where there is training, when there is a complete trust in dealing with investors who have been very uh, much available to put money into this sector, it then follows, given developments on the European market and other markets, that with certain requirements, that we would then be able to structure pr uh, projects or programs uh, to tailor, to be tailored to the African uh, context, and there have been improvements even at regional level and in its relations, our relations with the European market. So I am grateful to all uh, the decision makers at local level and other levels that have made it possible to secure funding for this project and who made all kinds of efforts I take this opportunity to th also uh, hail the work of the Cole ACP team. This is one, uh, a unique project. They very often with uh, projects, uh, they use us to strengthen their own capacity. But in this project, very quickly we see results. There is the case of Mali with the fruit fly uh, issue, we have certainly increased our interventions in this regard. And that has had an impact on, uh, on our uh, share of the European market. We now have a national plan, and it has uh, developed. It will very soon be implemented, and in this way we will be able to ensure the survival of our families and see to their uh, well-being. So I'm grateful to those uh, decision makers. We also ha would like to spare a thought for a country like Haiti, which has in recent times undergone disasters and the team at Call ACP, the administrative team, have certainly been prepared to assure that ensure that assistance would be would be provided to some of the operators in the field. So I just want to reiterate our commitment to help them. I thank you too. Okay, nous allons merci beaucoup monsieur Fofana et 
nous notons. Thank you, Mr. Fofana. We note your concerns and, and those of the Council of Ministers do uh, uh, also uh, coincide. There was a, a declaration on Haiti and, and efforts to support the Haitian economy, and we can see you are actually putting that into practice already. We would now like to hear from Mr. Knobs of the Cole CP program, and then we will hear from Mr. Stig Lambert of the uh, program. He will be discussing some of the challenges faced by the program. So, Mr. Knobs. Mr. Secretary General, Assist Assistant Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, thank you again for this opportunity to present um, this program on behalf of the Koli CP team and, and Board of Directors. So the Fit for Market program, um, it's a five-year program. Uh, the total budget is going to be 25 million euros, and uh, the sectorial remit is limited to fruit and vegetables. So we're talking about an all-ACP uh, program. Now, the specific objective of this program is to support the growth of micro, small, medium enterprises by improving their access to international and domestic markets while increasing the resilience, inclusiveness and sustainability of the value chain through the provision of capacity building and policy guidance. Now, this objective must be brought back uh, into perspective and into perspective of the 2030 uh, Sustainable Development Agenda. What we aim at achieving with, with Fit for Market is contributing to poverty alleviation. Uh, contributing to poverty alleviation by supporting fairer and more inclusive value chains where linkages between small farmers, farmer groups, small and medium enterprises, larger companies are reinforced. To be practical, if the companies supported increase their revenues and grow, we must demonstrate, demonstrate an increase in revenues at the level of producers supplying those companies and also at the level of employees working for those companies. Companies are at the centre of the programme. And as already mentioned, the objective is to support their growth. Support their growth by enabling them to train and sustain their human resources, by supporting the implementation of quality environmental management systems, by basically supporting them to develop their business. Again, if the business is being developed, the objective is to translate this business development into the creation of jobs. This was one of the main impacts of previous programmes, and we are committed, and uh, uh, the main objective of the Fit for Market programme is to go even further in terms of job creation. Gender equality. The majority of the workforce uh, within the horticultural value chain is, is made out of women. Um, during the PIP2 programme, uh, one of the, the, the main interesting results was that the permanent job positions for women in the companies that were supported doubled over a five year, five year period of time. Again, the objective within the Fit for Market programme is to go further and to push this trend. Another important aspect in relation to, to, to gender is the experts and the local partners we work with to support the producing and exporting entities. A large proportion of those service providers are women. And again, this is something that will reinforce within the Fit for Market program. Within the specific objective, we talk about international and domestic markets. Uh, when we look at global trends within the industry, we clearly see that today, trade at a local and regional le level is, is picking up, and it is of increasing importance for the companies. The objective within Fit for Market program is to support not only the, 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 the sales towards the export markets, but also towards local and regional markets, with the end objective of increasing the quality and the quantity of fruits and vegetables available for local consumption. Finally, sustainable intensification relies really within the core essence of the program. That is to produce more while reducing and minimizing the impacts on the environment. This is basically the essence in terms of global objectives and context for the Fit for Market program. 
how have we, have we designed this program to reach these ambitious goals? Well, basically, the idea is to work with companies, committed companies, who embrace sustainability, and by embracing sustainability, they improve their competitiveness, which then improves their ability to access markets and finance. And the question behind that would be, how can we push or how can we make companies em embrace the concept of sustainability? During the past five years, we've already been working on, on sustainability topics, as illustrated by the testimonials we, we've just heard on social and environmental topics. But we were more in a, in a reactive approach, reacting to what the, the, the markets uh, were demanding and uh, were requiring to the companies supplying them. With Fit for Market, we move from a reactive to a more proactive approach. And there's a real business case behind sustainability for companies to go along this path. When we talk about sustainability, we talk about improving HR policy, which improves staff retention. When we talk about the environment, we can talk about reducing costs. When we talk about business and corporate practices, we talk about improving and implementing sustainable long-term partnerships with buyers and local communities. In order to initiate this path, um, and it was mentioned by uh, Mr. Chairman uh, during uh, the introduction, um, Cody ACP uh, designed a sustainability charter. And this sustainability charter covers seven areas, being regulations, corporate and business practices, labor conditions, the environment, product quality, and good agricultural practice. Again, the idea here is not to comply with all these elements from day one, but to engage on a continuous improvement path by providing some tangible aspects the company can work upon. That's why we designed and we established a self-assessment system with some key indicators behind those principles to make sure that the companies were able to identify the gaps where they really need to focus their efforts and then benefit from the training and technical assistance program focused on their needs. Our future challenges. Well, at the moment, we can already say that the demands we receive surpass our capacity. So in the short term, our priority is to really establish partnerships with public, private, and civil society actors in order to make sure that we can increase the impact of our activities not only financially, technically, for us, it's a priority to be able to establish those partnerships because our objective is to make sure that all the services offered locally are there in the long run. Thank you for your attention, and I'll pass the floor to Key. <laughs> I'll be very, very brief. Let me first ask the call ACP team in the room to stand up so that we can see you. Please, all members of the call ACP, stand. It's quite a big team, you can see. Quite a few women, young people, and they're a very good team. I wanted them to be stand up, to stand up and be seen. Je pense. I think I will sum up and focus on the values of the Cole ACP, and it's quite moving for me. I beg your pardon. This emotion proves commitment to be fully involved in the mission organization in a collective and individual manner. This is an exercise that took place last week. It was put in place by the team and delivered to me yesterday. Uh, 
empowerment is the term we would use in English to be different. We want to be, we set out to be a different organization. Uh, performance, that is efficiency, a human face. These are the values that this team has chosen for itself after spending half a year f waiting for the program to start. Thank you. I'd like to thank all uh, participants. I once again apologize for the emotion. Thank you very much for your testimony, I would say, and your commitment. I like to recall, because we have been debating over two days, I like to say what sets us apart as the ACP from other partners, including our EU partners, is that we cannot be ambiguous about our mandate. Our mandate is clear. We must work for the welfare of our peoples. There can be there can be no hidden agenda other than that. So all we do with our programs, our very our only uh, goal is to ensure we draw the maximum from the investments. This is money that is has to be accounted for, and we must indeed make it work. So with every euro invested, we must have the highest yield possible. And one thing stands out, and this is why we continue to work with Call ACP. I was told at the time I was not there that when the program uh, kicked off, when it was launched, the consultants or trainers in, in the field were 80% European and 20% ACP. The figures we saw before the program was uh, confirmed was 80% or rather 90% ACP and 10% uh, European. And these are the kinds of figures, the kinds of changes we wish to see. We are, of course, grateful for the support from our partners, but at some point we want to see transformation to come from within and for us to really fully employ the capacities we have. And therefore, it is uh, one of those programs for which we always would want to prioritize. To date, we have fully supported activities of Cole ACP, but now we've moved to uh, shouldering that by up to 80%. We are reassured that the 20 million which we put in will uh, be will ensure that for the activities committed, we would see a multiplier effect of two and a half uh, times. So we are aware that we would see that 20 million actually uh, correspond to. Uh, activities that would account or amount to more than 50 million. We can, of course, uh, now at this point uh, take uh, any uh, testimonies from uh, the, the participants before we uh, move on to the rest of our program. So if anyone would like to see clarifications, at this point, this would be a good time. Uh, any comments would be welcome, too. Uh, thank you, ASG, for the opportunity. Throughout these two days, I've been sitting here listening to all the, the our experts on trade in trade from all around ACP countries coming here to to Brussels to discuss and deliberate and debate on what we need to move forward in terms of trade, and that includes agricultural products and fisheries. 
um, my reason for talking, I've never talked because I was listening to most of the participants, is how ACP, call ACP, I think it's just to acknowledge what ACP has contributed to one of our projects here in Brussels. So in 2013, I'm not so sure, but I think Guy can um, mention that uh, we, the spouses of the ACP ambassadors, undertook a project to produce a video showcasing our national traditional dishes from around ACP countries. Although we couldn't get all the women on board, but we managed to produce a video and a booklet that is so colorful and it showcases our environment in African Caribbean and Pacific countries that most of, I think, of our European partners should, should look at. So in, uh, on Saturday, I attended um, a fundraising charity for Haiti kids. And I met one young Belgian man of Congo origin who was very active in the Belgian political arena. And when he met me, he, he looked at me and said, oh, I saw a video that was uh, showed on uh, Brussels Airlines uh, about African women and Pacific women showcasing how to cook, how to cook and preserve national dishes. So I say that, yes, that, that was us. He said, I watched a movie, and after that movie, it came on ACP, call ACP, Pacific and African women national dishes. So I was proud. That was Saturday. Very proud that Brussels Airlines, one of our sponsors for a charity event, you know, were kind enough to showcase, to, to, produce, to show that on the. So if you are flying down to Africa, to the continent, mm -hmm. you should be able to see that. I'm sure they, they're still showing it. I'm, I'm hoping that they will continue to show that. And so, like this opportunity, I think I would like to let everyone know that apart from what Coal SCP is doing in African, Caribbean, and some of the Pacific countries, we extended that, our hand, Coal SCP extended their support to the ACP ambassador spouses here. We wanted to do a project to be proudly showcase in Brussels that we as ACP women, we can do a, make a difference and, and show that here in Brussels. So that video and also a booklet that is so colorful, I think it should be. So this opportunity, I would like to, to thank the call ACP uh, staff and Guy, your senior management, and of course the president who's here. I think it's good for him to, to hear that that I would like to, on behalf of the women who were part of the project, I would like to thank all the, the call ACP staff. I know some of them I didn't meet, but I think uh, we gave you headaches because we were, we are ACP women and we wanted to do things perfectly, So, which I'm glad that Brussels Airlines took on board. To thank you for all the support you've given us in producing that amazing video and book that I think ACP Secretary should have a copy as part of, is that part of history of ACP Secretariat? Um, and so for that, I would like to thank you, Guy, personally, because apart from the video and the book, you assisted us in, you sponsored two of our charity events for Gabon, Burundi, uh, I'm not sure, I think Swaziland, and they were, uh, yeah, Swaziland and Vanuatu. So, for that, I thank you. I would like to sincerely thank you on behalf of the women who are part of the project for the, the kind support you've given us. And I'm glad this has come on. I think this is a fit for market, and hopefully women in those ACP countries will benefit more. And I know I come from a country that it's hard to produce agricultural activities, uh, produce. But I think we can do that fit for market, get a country nearby who can sell their produce to Tuvalu. But for that, again, thank you very much, Guy, and, and your call ACP staff for the tremendous support you've given us in the past years. Thank you. Le Soudan. Ah, thank you, SG, for giving me the chance. First, I thank ACP and EU for just conducting a very tangible program.
and I thank all the um, and the staff and the institution involved in it. And it is appeal from the what we hear. It is a very successful and sustainable program. I think sustainability is a challenge now for all our program. And now what we 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 we, we know now about this program is uh, in a, is done in a sustainable manner. And I think. The, 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 even uh, the sector which address is the most needy sectors in our SCB states because this is small and medium enterprise there's a lot which need to be supported because uh, some of th some of them if they produce they cannot have access to the market so I think it is a very uh, and for me uh, I am uh, and what you call it I am happy I, I, I hear there is a program like this but uh, I, 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 I want to ask a question. Is that companies who are uh, supported or um, um, in, inter micro enterprise, are they existed or it created? Yani, how it supported to be, to, to be? If it is existed, what kind of support given to them to, 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 yani, to produce until they reaching export stage? And I really, yani, Congratulate you for this success, and I hope this will be replicated in all ACB states. Thanks a lot. Merci beaucoup. Je vais dire un de... Thank you very much. Perhaps we could ask the Director of Operations to answer that question. Thank you. <clears throat> so thank you for the question. Um, supports, uh, direct supports, individual supports with a customized action plan is, uh, is designed with existing entities that produce and, and export. Um, it is not to say that not any support is available to groups or entities that are in the process of formalization, but most of, uh, of the support, of the direct support and the individual action plans go towards uh, entities that are already established. Uh, but being those entities active uh, only locally, regionally, or on the international markets, that's open to uh, to all type of operators or more sizes. Um, so really, from the micro enterprise to really the larger uh, the larger entity, and obviously the the type of support is then adapted to the type of operator uh, that's uh, that's supported. Uh, with always keeping in mind the demonstration effect that we can create for the rest of the sector and the industry within the country when an individual actor uh, is supported. Okay, Esquilia. Thank you. Are there any other persons wanting to take the floor? If not, we will now move to conclude the session. Let me first give the floor to the chair to conclude. Thank you, Assistant Secretary General. I think we are all witnesses this evening of this important milestone in the life of uh, Kole ACP and uh, ACP actors in the agri sector. We take this opportunity very important to us and uh, as I indicated earlier on in my introductory speech, we are committed to making sure the deliverables as contained in the project documents are achieved with all excellence. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Merci encore à toute l'équipe et je suis très heureux. Thank you again to the entire team. I'm so pleased to see all the positive reactions. The reality of what you've been doing over the last 15 years. And it shows clearly that we're on the right path. And as I said in the beginning, good luck. You can count on our support, our ongoing support not only for this, uh, op op but to even develop it in the future, because there's a clear demand for it. Thank you. Okay, so merci encore. Uh, so thank you to everyone for having stayed on for this presentation. And once again, the team is available.
here and can uh, listen to your questions if you have any on a bilateral basis. There's a s website, colliacp.org. You can uh, contact them. And just to conclude, let me say, in the work we do in service of our people, and of course, it, it, we want to focus on the poorest, on the people who most need our help. And this is what we will be doing. For the last two days, we've been talking about the processes that are underway. Our ministers will discuss this. Tomorrow, we'll be meeting with the commission, the commissioner and the team uh, on Friday to talk about rules. If we are to have a win-win productive partnership. We need to have a rules-based system, but a rules that are as fair as possible, and that rules that would encourage development, help bring about development in our countries. We would like our partners to support us in moving towards uh, the best possible situation so that we can upgrade and develop. We will be asking that we have the best possible environment in place for the economic activities of our states so that in addition to the efforts, development efforts we already have for our people, we will not have to be doing extra work simply to meet certain uh, uh, rules. I think both sides will continue to work. And we would like to pay tribute and c to and commend the efforts of Collier CP and, of course, any delegation around the table. Please, if you need help, speak to the program. And I think that is the only way we can see the resources we've been making available serve. Of course, these may be not adequate resources, but at least help to solve the problems in our countries. So perhaps the we can now be invited to the cocktail. You can, if you'd like to invite us to the cocktail. Let me just leave you. Uh, perhaps you can say the final words, uh, if you like. Thank you. Well, I'm thirsty. So I think we should all go. And it will be a pleasure to talk to you. And of course, as always, uh, have enjoy the welcome at the ACP Secretariat.